So should you buy from Temu? You really shouldn't. Hey, welcome to another innovation production. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Timu, Temu, however you pronounce it. I'm going to be telling you why you really should not be buying from this app or website. I've been on eBay for over 20 years, AliExpress for about 10 years, and Amazon for about 6 years. So I've bought a lot of stuff. Particularly, I've bought a lot of stuff from China, from AliExpress. Out of hundreds of purchases from AliExpress, I probably have about uh, less than a dozen items which I have issues with. Now, out of seven items I've purchased from Temu, five are junk, most of which I've received refunds for, and one which I'm trying to get a refund for, but it's after the 90-day period. Two items I haven't opened yet, but I don't have high hopes for them. Now, let me give you four examples of the other junk that they sell. Now, first of all, was this LED light strip, which I bought for probably about 10 bucks. Now, that's probably the biggest indicator that this is actually junk. You're not going to get anything quality for that price. It was advertised as having two-year connectivity, and guess what? It didn't. And you see, LED light strips are meant to stick to things. But you know what? After a day or two, this is what happened. Another item I bought were these cable organizers, which were cheaper than eBay and AliExpress from what I saw. And also within a day, they all started falling out. Useless. Now this was my biggest purchase from Temu, and my biggest regret. I think I spent about 60 Australian dollars for this. And it's other junk. You can sort of guess from the photo what happened. I bought the biggest version of this LED sensor light. And it's, it's quite big, and it's also quite heavy. So, I looked at the bracket, and I looked at the screws and the fixings that were included. I'm like, mm, there's no way that this would hold the weight uh, of this light. But I thought, look, the bracket came with the light, so it's meant to work. So anyway, I drilled into the brick wall, put in the little plugs, and screwed it in using the bracket that was provided. And guess what? Half an hour later, I came back, the thing was on the ground, all smashed up. No big surprise. Now, because I had waited a while to install it, uh, it was past the 90-day period where you can get a refund, and they just flat refused to refund me. Fair enough, that's their policy. But when you buy something, you expect it to work. And I can tell you that the bracket and the fixings included for this light, it's actually physically impossible that this would hold the light up. So I'm, I'm raising an issue with um, PayPal at the moment, so hopefully I can get my money back. Another item I bought was this automatic soap dispenser. Um, it worked okay for a while, but then it started to get clogged up and, and you know, having issues with using it. And then after a while, you can see from the photo, uh, at the bottom where you have the, the AAA batteries, it started to rust. Now this is the worst design ever. To have a battery compartment at the very bottom of a soap dispenser, and it's pretty much flush um, with the rest of the base. So if there's any water near the bottom, which there will be because if you're using a soap dispenser, you know, soap and water is going to drip there. Um, and it's shorted out the unit. And I hope my batteries are going to be working still, but I'm not sure. So just a few examples of things that have gone wrong with my Tamu purchases. 5 out of 7 is not a good percentage. And it's probably 7 out of 7 because I haven't tried the other two products yet. So my advice to you is that apart from all the allegations of spyware in, in the Temu app and all that, just don't buy from them, they just sell other junk. Oh, another thing is, the LED light strip which I bought for about $60, when I went back in to have a look at it, it was like $35. So obviously it's a massive markup, it's probably worth, I don't know, like $5 or something. So yeah, um, stay away from Temu. Um, AliExpress, in my opinion, is still pretty good, and you know, eBay, Amazon, and the rest of them. But yeah, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and about other gadgets too. Thanks for watching.